Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Uh, today, we're going to take a closer look at Woodpecker's Delve Square. Now, just a few episodes ago, we took a look at all the Delve Squares, the two stainless steel models and the little one, uh, and a few people felt like we kind of didn't give all the love to the little one. So let's take a look at this one specifically. We're going to talk today just about the red aluminum anodized Delve Square. All right, let's get started. So what are the unique features of the aluminum Delve Square? Uh, well, first, the initial buy-in. It's a little less expensive than the uh, stainless steel version. Uh, and one of the things I really like about it around the shop is the fact that it's a lot lighter. No matter where you keep it, it's not going to weigh you down, and it's always ready for work. So it's very, very convenient. All right, let's take a look at some of the features of the Delve uh, that make it unique among all tools out there. And the first is the offset base. You'll notice that on this side, it's a quarter of an inch from the edge to the blade. And on this side, it's three eighths of an inch from the edge to the blade. And what that gives you is the ability to do layout work very quickly. If I'm working with standard three quarter inch material, and I want to lay out a mortise or a tenon, I'm going to do that in even thirds. So we'll take that quarter inch side. Now that gives us a quarter of an inch on that side. That gives us a quarter inch on that side. And we've got a quarter inch left in the middle. That's a perfect layout for either mortise or tenon. Now the other side, gives us the ability to always find the center of a board. Okay, with 3 eighths of an inch, I'm gonna put that on the 3 eighths side, and I'm gonna make the mark. Then, that should be the center of the board if it's perfectly 3 quarter, uh, and if I had my pencil perfectly located. But that's not very likely to happen. So let's just take one more step here, turn it around, and make that mark again. And now we have two marks. Doesn't matter whether it's oversized or undersized, the center of the board is gonna be directly between those two marks, right there. Another great feature of the Delft Square are the scribing guides. These allow you to mark a line perfectly parallel with the edge of your stock. We're just gonna take the edge of the Delve, bring it against the edge of our stock, drop a mechanical pencil into the dimension that we want, so hold it straight up and down, and scribe your line. Now that's perfectly an inch and a half from the edge of the stock. Let's talk about setting angles with the uh, Delve Square. The hypotenuse edge is engraved with all of our angles in five degree increments, plus 22 and a half and 67 and a half. To use the angles, we're gonna use this point as our pivot, and line up the angle with the edge of the stock. So let's say that we want that at 30 degrees. We're gonna bring that to 30 degrees, and then we can mark it. Now usually when you're doing angles, you've got more than one of them to do and you want them all the same. So I found a little trick that makes that a lot simpler is to use a stair gauge. Now these are originally designed for framing squares, but they work really well with the delve to set that angle. We're just going to bring that to our 30 degrees, make sure we're right on the mark, and set our gauge, lock it up, and now I can make that 30 degree mark just as many times as I want, and every one of them is spot on. Now the next feature I want to talk to you about is the most misunderstood one on the delve square. It's this bigger hole right here uh, that has a half inch mark right on it. So despite the engraving that says a half inch, the real measurement that we're interested in here is the fact that it's three eighths of an inch from this edge to the center of the hole, which puts us right over the center of our stock. And that means we can take a self-centering drill bit, put it in that guide, and drill a hole precisely centered on our board. Another feature of the Delve Square is we have three standard measurements available to us all the time. This is three quarters of an inch, this is an eighth of an inch, and this is a quarter of an inch. 
let me show you a couple of ways to use that feature. Let's take a look at setting up a three quarter inch depth of cut with a plunge router. All I need to do is put my three quarter inch space between the stop, bring it down, clamp it up, and there's our three quarter inch depth of cut. Now the quarter inch side is great for setting up your saw blade to cut drawer bottoms. You have a nice long reference, so it's very easy to make sure that the saw blade is right at top dead center, right at a quarter of an inch. We could also use this to set the depth of cut on our drill press. Uh, let's say that we want to go an eighth of an inch deep into this board. We're going to bring the drill bit down to the material so that it's resting right on top. Then we're going to take our eighth of an inch dimension, put that in the stop mechanism, and bring the stop down until it catches that. Lock it. And now our bit can travel exactly one eighth of an inch. And of course, what good is a square if it isn't square? The Delft square is made to the same exacting tolerances as our precision woodworking squares in both the 45 and 90. Folks, thanks so much for watching the show today. I hope you know a little bit more about one of my favorite squares, the Delve All Aluminum. One of the tools that you really wanna have right with you all the time in your shop. Hey, if you like the show today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.